Koheleth, Ecclesiastes 3. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, and a time to lose. A time to guard, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time of war, and a time of peace. What profit has he that works in that wherein he labors? I have seen at the travail which Elohim has given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He eth has made everything beautiful in his time. Also he has set at the world in their heart, so that no man can find out at the work that Elohim makes from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor, it is the gift of Elohim. I know that whatsoever Elohim does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it, and Elohim does it, that men should fear before him. That which has been in been is now, and that which is to be has already been, and Elohim requires eth that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in my heart, Elohim shall judge eth the righteous and eth the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that Elohim might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. For that which befalls the sons of men befalls beasts. Even one thing befalls them. As the one dies, so dies the other. Yea, they have all one breath, so that a man has no preeminence above a beast, for all is vanity. All go unto one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knows the ruach of a man that goes upward, and the ruach of the beast that goes downward to the earth? Wherefore I perceive that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that is his portion, for who shall bring him to see what shall be after him?